hello viewers greetings to you and welcome to my channel please let me know where you're watching from now if you have a solar power system and you want to install a breaker a fuse or other over current protection devices ocpds uh, you need to know that you have the pv side of the system and the inverter side of the system now from the pv side of the system you need to look at the maximum current that the solar panels are producing and for us to know the maximum current that the solar panels are producing we need to look at the system configuration are the solar panels connected in series or in parallel in parallel current will increase but voltage will remain the same but in series connection voltage will increase and current will remain the same now if solar panels are connected in parallel it means you have doubled the current there is an increase in current so you need to uh, properly size the breaker to handle the maximum amount of current that the solar panels will be producing so let's take for example we have uh, the solar panels one two three we have positive negative positive negative positive negative now we need to look at the short circuit current of the solar panels so let's assume each of them they are short circuit current which is a isc these solar panels are connected in series positive to negative so you have your positive terminal here and your negative uh, terminal now let's assume the short circuit current of the solar panel if you look at the back of your solar panel you see short circuit current isc so the short circuit let's assume the short circuit current of these solar panels is uh, 8.9 amps now if you want to connect the break if you want to size the breaker that we are going to you know install uh for this system now we are going to multiply this short circuit current by a safety factor which is 1.56 we are taking into consideration the maximum uh, current and the continuous current that this uh, solar panels will be producing so the size of breaker size of breaker we are going to use will be equal to that is the short circuit current multiplied by 1.6 1.56 so this will be 8.9 amps multiplied by 1.6 five six so let's see what this will give us uh 13.884 amps now uh it may be difficult for you to get a breaker that is rated 13.88 amps so you may go for a 15 amps breaker now what if we connect these solar panels in parallel this is for series connection so it means uh in this uh, line this is where we are going to install the breaker, which is uh, approximately 15 amps. So let's assume these solar panels are connected in parallel. What will be the size of the breaker? This is a parallel connection. Positive, positive, positive. All the positive terminals of the solar panels are connected together. All the negative terminals are connected together. And the short circuit current, we say, the short circuit current isc is also 8.9 amps here is 8.9 amps 8.9 amps 8.9 amps so what would be the size of circuit breaker we are going to use this is a parallel connection we are going to add all this uh the the, the short circuit current of all these panels we are going to add them together so we have three panels one two three so 8.9 multiplied by three uh this will be total total short circuit current will be 8.9 amps uh multiply by three because we have three solar panels that are connected in parallel so uh 8.9 multiplied by three will give us 26 26.7 amps now the size of breaker will now be you know total isc multiplied by 1.56 so this will give us uh 26.7 amps multiplied by 1.56 the 1.56 there remember is a safety uh, factor so we have 
uh, 26.7 multiplied by 1.56 will give us 41.652 uh, amps. Now, if you don't have a, if you, if you are not able to get a 41 amps breaker, you can go for maybe 45 amps or, uh, or a 50 amps breaker. So the breaker must be able to, you know, carry the maximum amount of current that the solar panels are producing. And also, uh, uh, you need to look at the voltage of that breaker if it will be able to, you know, carry the voltage also that is flowing through here. There are a lot of things you also need to take into consideration. The temperature where you are going to install the breaker, whether it will be outside or inside, and if this breaker will be able to withstand the temperature, uh, if you expose it outside the, 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 the conditions uh, that um, when you uh, install the breaker outside, if you'll be able to, you know, manage or be able to withstand those conditions outside. So there are a lot of things you need to consider before choosing that breaker, else the breaker, you know, will not function well. And when you are choosing the breaker, it should not be too high. For example, this is the current we are having, the total current, uh, maximum current these solar panels will be producing. Now, if the breaker is too high, remember that this short circuit uh, current, when the irradiance is getting close to 1,000 watts per square meter, the solar panels you know, can produce up to the maximum, uh, their, their rated maximum capacity. But that may not last for a long time. It may last for 10 minutes, it may last for five minutes. So when the solar panels produce up to 100% or more than 100% of their rated capacity, that is why you see some solar panels that are right there, plus or minus. The manufacturer is telling you that this panel may produce up to 100% uh, percent or more than, uh, uh, can produce up to their rated 100% of their rated capacity. Now, when that happens, the breaker should be able to handle the maximum current that will be coming out from the panels as at that time so that the system will not fail. Your system will also be protected. So even here, if you want to install a fuse, this is a parallel connection. It is highly recommended that when you have a parallel connection like this, you should, you should put and install an inline fuse in all the parallel lines here, here, and here. You have your fuse that is installed here. Here is 8.9 amps. And from where we, the first calculation we did, you can put, you put, you need to put, uh, install a 15 amp fuse here, 15 amp fuse here, and another 15 amp fuse here. Why? Because it is parallel. But for series connection, uh, you, you don't need to bother more as compared to parallel connection. So that is why if you do your connection in series, the overall cost of that system will not be high because the size of cable, the size of breakers, and the, the OCPDs you are going to install in that system will not be much and will not be high. Why? Because the voltage is high, current is low. So even your conductors, the cables you are going to use, they will not be you know, large. Why? Uh, you are connecting your solar panels in series. So voltage is high, but current is you know, low. So this is how to choose the size of breakers you need to install in the PV side of the uh, system. Now, for the inverter side, if you have your battery bank, this is the battery bank. And you have your inverter. This is the inverter here. Now, you have the input side of the inverter and the output side of the inverter. Now, you need to look at the maximum current that will be coming out from the, the, the inverter will be taking from the battery to, you know, convert to AC. Then here you have your, your load. You have your AC load because it has been converted to uh, AC. Sorry. It has been converted to AC. These are your AC loads. So if you have, have it like this, what you will do here is after knowing your maximum current, you will just multiply by 1.25. You will not multiply by 1.56. The 1.56, you are doing the multiplication. You multiply the short circuit current by 1.56. 
But here, you're multiplying from the inverter side, the input and the output. You're multiplying by 1.25 to give you the size of breaker and other OCPDs that you're going to use uh, for that system. So this is how to choose the size of breakers you know, that you need for your solar installation. Now, it is very good it's, uh, for you to protect your system. After installation, you need to properly protect your system. But in choosing the protective devices, you need to know how to also properly size them so that if the, 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 the OCPD is too high, it do not be able to function. It do not, the breaker will not trip off when it's supposed to trip off because the, 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 its size is, is higher than, you know, the, the current. Then if it is too low, it will be tripping off, uh, anyhow, any small, uh, increase in current, it will trip off. So you need to pr uh, size, probably size it so that it will match. Then some solar panels, you see at the back of the solar panels, they will write maximum series, uh, fuse rating. If you connect all the solar panels in series, the manufacturer is giving you the size, the maximum fuse you should use for that series, you know, connection. Then uh, uh, for the inverter, uh, some manufacturers will also give you their recommended fuse size of uh, breakers, size of cables you should use to connect from the battery to the inverter and from the inverter to your loads. That is why it is always good to look at the manufacturer's specifications. You read the manual. From the manual, they will give you all the specifications that you need. So they will give you their recommended breakers, fuses, and you know, cables that you use in installing their product. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, please don't forget to let me know where you're watching from. Thanks, and do have a wonderful day. See you in my next video. Please like, share, and also comment so that the video uh, can go viral. Thanks very much. God bless you.